What's up buddies? Welcome to uh, finally another episode or another upload on YouTube, but specifically another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. I'm sorry that this for the first time ever really in my channel's existence, I have not uploaded for two days. I basically have never done that, but two things. First of all, I got very, very, very sick and i just needed a little bit of time off and it subsequently came in the timing of we up or us or me uploading the uh the conversation in regards to social media and the bullying experiences that i went went through and the discussions and the suggestions and the, that whole topic and 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 uh, of you guys talking to someone and 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 giving the helpline and putting that all out there that was the last upload that i did and uh, while i was gonna just force upload a couple of episodes while i was sick i thought you know what let that video sit i think it's important that people see that Anybody that needs any type of help, maybe if they do see that, it does help them out in, uh, in in some way, shape, or form. So if that was you and the video that we pushed out did help out uh, in some way, shape, or form, amazing. Um, and God bless. And we are finally back with a new upload of The Poor Man Road to Glory. If you missed that entire discussion topic, if I can remember, I'll put it in the description of this video down below. In terms of today, because I've been away, I have not touched my FUD account in three days because I was sick. I just stayed away from FIFA in general, took two days off even of streaming. We've got a lot to catch up on. And the way the FIFA community has started to implode on itself, uh, pro players versus content creators and Reddit users versus forum users and people that run Road to Glory accounts, basically people that don't spend money on FIFA points are attacking people that do spend money on FIFA points. The community is in a shambles and what i wanted to discuss here is the whole state of the union on the game and then get your guys's thoughts about everything that's going on right i know that there's a lot of content creators out there nep and skills having to defend themselves against pro players not just kurt a bunch of other pro players trying to go in on them in certain ways and i i think it's really important to touch on that entire topic specifically as well because I am getting tweeted at an exorbitant amount right now by people saying, adding me specifically, but a few other content creators saying, you need to step up. This game is a shambles. You need to stand. It's pathetic that you are a content creator and don't support change in the game and stuff like that. And first of all, the one main topic here is, I hope at least my loyal viewer base on Twitch, which are watching me awkwardly do this live, and you guys on YouTube, I hope to God that I am not lumped in by you guys into that grouping of people that you're really mad about that doesn't talk about the game, which genuinely, I don't even think there is really that many big content creators that don't talk about the issues with the game. So in general, I don't see the whole uproar from people on Reddit and people all over Twitter attacking content creators for not pushing for change in the game. It, it genuinely does blow my mind. First of all, that I'm being attacked in a lot of ways but even that other content creators are I, I know pretty much every content creator in this community to some extent and have seen them many times criticize ea on what's going wrong but i'm just going to bring it back to myself i'm not here to defend everybody in the community i'm just going to talk about my standpoints and where i stand from for years now since fifa 15 i've started a poor man road to glory which was a series that i started off back then even because I wanted to have an open dialogue with those that were watching my content to tell them that, first of all, it's not healthy dumping thousands of dollars into this game for a multitude of reasons. But because it's a, a cyclical game, if you can't afford to do that or you're young, you shouldn't be dumping money into any video game, whether it's Fortnite, you know, Blackout, wh whatever it is. You, you should be a little bit more responsible with, with your money. And, and I started an account where I spent time and showed my viewer bases how if you love this game, you don't need to spend infinite money, put yourself into debt or spend all of your birthday money on packs and whatnot to get a good squad. And I've been doing that since FIFA 15 consistently to the detriment of even the growth of my channel as well in a lot of ways. 
things have phased down for myself, but a lot of the FIFA community in general, things have phased down. But subsequently, things have phased down for me once I stopped doing the monster pack openings, once I stopped doing the past and present squad builders and all the stuff that I used to do on my insane money spending account where I was spending 20, 30, $40,000 a year on my FIFA accounts. Now, at the end of the day, it's a means to an end. This entire content creation world for me is a job. So what I would always recommend to anybody that's just mad at what they see content creators doing, you do need to realize that this is their job. So you being mad because X content creator, or this content creator spends a lot of money on the game doesn't really make sense because it's their income. This is how they earn a living or how they choose to earn a living. What you should be mad about, okay? And this is, this is my disclaimer, because you also, before I even tell you what you should be mad about, you also, if you're mad at content creators that dump money into this game, shouldn't you also be mad at the content creators that spend 12 hours a day on this game? For the same reasons. Whether you spend time or you spend dollars on this game, it's still a very valuable commodity, whichever one you want to do, whichever one you want to side on. So you can't pick and choose who you're mad with based on if they spend money or they don't. Like if you're backing me up because, oh, Nick doesn't spend money on the game. So dude, I'm still technically showing you guys a very unhealthy way to go about enjoying this game. Nobody should spend a crazy amount of money on this game unless they're an adult and have a great disposable income or wh whatever it is. Overall, the common man, nobody should be dumping thousands of dollars a year into this game with everything that you can lump into that thought process. Similarly, and this is getting to my point, nobody should be dumping eight to 12 hours a day into a video game. That's just not healthy. That's just not healthy. So don't sit there and back me up thinking that I'm like some better version of content creator because over the last five years, I've been doing a road to glory for the most part. No. What you should be, so that's my, my point to build into, I guess my main point is attacking content creators anyways gets nothing done. But you shouldn't be mad at a content creator for A, spending money on the game or B, honestly, spending time on the game. This is our job. This is what we do to earn a living. And let me just preface that again by saying, you getting mad at content creators dumping money into the game doesn't make sense. Your argument saying, oh, but they don't need to spend money on the game. It, it's a means to an end. Do you genuinely think that anybody, whether it's myself or Nep or Castro or Bateson or Skills, really dumps all of their earnings into packs and gets nothing back? Do you think that genuinely? Do you really think that they're just being non-intelligent about it? No. It's a 1% or a 10% outlay for a return. That's just, that's just the nature of the world, first of all. Second of all, FIFA points, because again, this is our job, are a business write-off. Doesn't mean it, it makes them free, but at the end of the day, it is a business write-off. That's just the truth of the matter. So getting mad at content creators for spending money on the game doesn't make sense. And I really hope you're sticking with me here because I, I, I have a means to an end here, okay? That doesn't make sense. Getting mad on me at me for spending time on the game. Again, as I mentioned to you, it is irresponsible for anybody to spend 12 hours a day on this game. But getting mad at me for doing it does not make sense because this is my job at the end of the day. So you shouldn't get mad at content creators for spending time or money on the game, especially if you do either of them. You can't get mad at a content creator for spending money on the game if you spend seven hours a day or four hours a day on the game. You're part of the problem as well. I'm sorry to tell you that. You're part of the problem that you're supposedly trying to fight for. Nevertheless, don't get mad at those people. What you need to get mad at is people not having the conversations that need to be had. For years now, I know not just me, okay? I'm not just putting myself in this positive light. I know many content creators. For years now, no matter what we do, I'm gonna go back to me because I can only speak for myself. No matter what I've done, I've always, and it's put me in a really bad position with EA for a multitude of reasons, but this, what I'm about to say here is exactly why I don't work with EA is because for a multitude of years, I've always says it, said it as it is. Whether I spend money on the game or spend a lot of time on the game, I've always tried to tell you guys and discuss with you guys the truth of the matter. The fact that you need to be very careful. This game can get very addictive in terms of time spent or money spent, right? 
that's what you need to what you need to demand or expect from maybe the content creators you're watching is that they at least talk about these subjects right at, at least and even then should you be mad at certain content creators if they don't want to even talk about what's wrong with the game or what's morally correct or what isn't realistically no because at the end of the day they're just trying to entertain their audiences and that is the be all end all here i i just find it so disappointing seeing everybody attacking different content creators or attacking different pros the only thing you should be upset with is that these conversations aren't had more often i think it's very important for my viewer base to have these discussions about you know being addicted to the game putting in time or being addicted to the game putting in a crazy amount of money or being addicted to games in general does it does it benefit me talking about these things no playing games is my job having you guys enjoy what i do or wanting to participate in what i do earns me even more money so me talking about this obviously at the end of the day hurts me financially right it hurts me financially because obviously ea end up not wanting to work with me because i'm just i'm too volatile i'm not politically correct and and all of that stuff but at the same time it hurts me financially because maybe what i say gets through to a lot of people and a lot of people are like fuck he's kind of right the hell am i spending seven hours a day on this account i've got exams i'm barely i'm barely you know doing well with i've got a girlfriend that's always mad at me because i'm putting nine hours a day on the weekend into grinding this game and playing foot champs feeling like it's a job and then that means when people start whittling away their time and being more intelligent with their time outlay they might spend less time on my stream which again is a trickle effect they might not watch it as much which means they don't watch as many ads which means i don't get paid as much they might not sub to my channel anymore so i understand that these conversations are needed they, they just they just are at the end of the day but what we really need to get into here is the root of the problem and i think the root of the problem which is super super unfortunate here is i think as an entire fifa community we are stuck in this very hu basic human instinct which is this tribal need to be part of a team to then for some reason want to attack another team and that is genuinely like what i wrote down as like as my i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but as like my theme for the episode today is that we're all losing in this fifa community right now we are and it's so disappointing and i'm sorry that it's taken me so long to get here but i wanted to talk about the whole fifa points versus time thing it's just it's such a nonsensical argument being mad at people for spending money on the game or spending time on the game people do as as they want what you want to expect out of the content creators is that they at least talk about the issues talk about the subjects and say hey guys yeah i spend money on this game you probably shouldn't or you should be smart with your money if you're able to go for it but having these open dialogues with their communities i think is maybe a fair expectation to have of content creators but expecting them not to spend money on the game or time on the game because you don't agree with that is ridiculous nevertheless what what's led me to where we are right now in this conversation and then we're going to really build into the episode is it feels like we're all just fighting each other you know people that spend fifa points on the game trying to defend themselves or fighting people that don't spend money on the game people that don't spend money on the game attacking people that spend fifa points on the game because they think they're better than people that spend money on the game which is just so incorrect in in every way shape or form pro players attacking youtubers because you, pro players seem to think that youtubers need to die on the sword of what's wrong with this game without pro players stepping up and doing the same thing right that whole discussion point of pro players calling out nep or skills or you know not me necessarily i haven't been really called out or, or attacked personally um although i have in the past many times obviously apologies if i said obviously a lot of times it's apparently now my new word but pro players attacking youtubers for not talking enough about it when they are able to make a lot of change as well i've heard net mention this a few times too if pro players really wanted to make a change in the game instead of calling out or depending on other people to do things which the irony is getting mad at content creators for not doing anything is just wrong because content creators have been trying youtubers and streamers have been trying to cause change in this game for a very long time so it's like a double stupid thing attacking content creators first of all we should all be on the same team of wanting this game to be better 
whether you play this game professionally to try and earn prize money or you play this game as a moron pleb like myself and you just try and make some idiotic content that people hopefully enjoy we're all we should we should we're not all in this together right now in fact the whole fifa community is just fighting itself but we should all be united in this pro players should be organizing with youtubers in some sense where pro players make a stand in some way shape or form i've heard this mentioned a few times i, I, I saw bates mentioned it on a stream even today as well where if pro players want to change making a stand at an event where you guys all agree all right for this one day of games we're gonna make a stand and we're not we're gonna refuse to play all of that being broadcast live on television that would really hit home on so many levels the hundreds of thousands of people watching the event whether it's on television or watching it on twitch would sit there and see you guys walk off or decide to not play and if they don't know why you're walking off well you bet your ass they're going to try and find out why you're walking off and whatever your topic is whether you guys are walking off and refusing to play because the game is inconsistent the game is impossible to play as a professional because game by game it is a different game event by event it is a different game if that's your standing fair play people will get behind that if your standing is monetary where you say we're not playing because the money outlays it's impossible for any of us to live the fact that we have to spend thousands of dollars to get a good team to then spend the rest of our year grinding our asses off to get to this event and only if you finish top eight or whatever it is in these events do you get paid is ridiculous with all of the money that EA makes off of sponsorships and working with Sky Sports and working with the Premier League teams, it does not make any type of logical sense for anybody to say, oh, but these pro players get great exposure. That should be enough. No, no. When you guys are earning millions off of these events, the people that bring in the entire viewer, sh viewer base should be the ones that benefit the most. The pro players deserve a base amount for qualifying period that's it not just paying for them to go to the event like flying them to the event paying for their stay there these people are putting in months and risking almost everything to try and make this a job the least that ea i think could do for these pro players is to pay a base amount for them to get there and from what all the pro players i've seen talking publicly on twitter that is nowhere near the case a lot of pro players to get to these events actually lose money by the end of it. What? So back to my point. If the pro players want to change, instead of attacking YouTubers, working together with YouTubers would be the answer. And then the same thing back and forth with YouTubers. Instead of us getting upset and, and attacking pro players, backing them up, which ironically, net being called out and being attacked by certain pro players blows my mind because not only is Nep obviously one of my good friends, so I might sound a little bit biased here, but from what I've seen, just like standing away from things, he's one of the guys that is backing the pro players as much as possible. I personally know how much money in the thousands he's paid to support pro players over the years. So to be, another thing that blows my mind is seeing pro players attack one of the biggest champions for their success is ridiculous. Nevertheless, we should be working together, not separating and breaking apart. Whether you spend FIFA points on the game or you don't, attacking the other part of the group because it's you versus them is how you feel is not how this game is going to get better. Same thing for the pros and the YouTubers. Attacking each other, defending your standpoint. It just, why? Why? It's so hypocritical on so many levels to attack another party based on a game that we all want to see do better. So I really, really think uniting together and discussing through the issues is the only way forward. We're not going to see any type of change. Uh, mods, can we time out for four? Actually, I'll just ban him. I'll just ban him myself. Hold on. Uh, oh, he's been timed out a bunch of times. So there you go. We can ban him forever. Um, that is the key issue here in the FIFA community, I think, is that we're all tearing at each other's, at each other's throats and, and the community itself is tearing at the seams. And it feels like the only people that are winning in this is EA. Because what are we doing right now as a community? We are not even dealing with the issues of the game anymore. We are just attacking each other. And EA get to sit back and just be like, cool. So all these issues with the game now are completely being ignored because this pro player is attacking this YouTuber. And this community of Road to Glory players is attacking this community of money spenders. 
where we should be working together to try and see some logical change in the game. And from what I've seen, FIFA 20, they're trying to get a lot of what we want to see fixed, right? The phantom calls, the gameplay issues, the, 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 the physics being broken, and in half the time the physics feeling like everything's backwards, where you get tackled from behind more accurately and win the ball and never get called for a foul 10 times more than when you manually tackle someone face-to-face -face with the ball in between you. Then the person phases through you and gets away with the ball. They, from what I've seen, and the few community managers and specifically gameplay developers, they've seen the endless videos that I post complaining about those issues, and they're really making a push for FIFA 20. Now, the issue is, I don't know if, again, that is just them saying, hey, Nick, like, we're working on this stuff to try and shut me up. I don't know if that's the case. I mean, maybe that's the case. But there's got to be a point where I even get down to it and say, well, I hope to God that this isn't just you guys trying to shut me up and you are trying to work on making, making things better. But nothing improves if we attack each other. And that's my thoughts on the community, man. It's, it should be a united community. And I hope that because of the title or because of this picture here, right? This picture here, that's just a, I mean, not everybody in the community, the content creation community is included there. But I hope that you guys see when I'm saying FIFA community, I don't mean myself in this whole thing. I don't mean other YouTubers and streamers when I say community. I mean the other, all of us included in that. So guys that play the game a little bit, guys that play the game a lot, we're all the FIFA community. When I say the FIFA community is tearing at itself and, 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 and destroying itself i don't just mean youtubers and streamers and pro players like you guys anybody that's watching this is part of that community and we're all responsible for getting the game in a better spot we really are so i hope the discussion in some way shape or form about the current state of the fifa community and what's good and what isn't good gets through to somebody man because we really do need to get back on track on trying to improve this game instead of just attacking each other man nothing is going to get solved in that regard so having said that, for the rest of today's episode, and I'm going to keep this topic of conversation going, I just wanted to get my, holy God, 20-minute dialogue and diatribe about this FIFA community issue out there for you guys. Um, from here, it's going to be community-driven. So we're going to get into the episode. We've got, as you can see, another squad of r9 or project r9 completed and ready to go purely from the league SBC grind all of these players from league SBCs, i will be completing and going through all the packs for the Serie A. scriniar will work towards his team so i'm hoping in the 20 or 25 or 30 packs that we open right here that i'll be able to get someone of the rating of ter Stegen so that we can truly keep it to the league SBC grind if not Picking up a Ter Stegen for 60k or whatever is not a bad deal while everything else has been from League SBCs. So let's get into the Serie A uh, subsequently as well. That means that tomorrow, fingers crossed I can get a little bit more of the grind going on stream today. Tomorrow, Project R9 is completed and we start getting to integrate them into the team and build them into the squad. So I'm hoping to complete Project R9 by uh, tomorrow's recording. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to bring in all the alerts again, and then we can start having those um, open discussions and whatnot with uh, with everybody as well. Uh, real quick thank yous. Mandin, uh, Keen, Landy, Soapskill, Christensen, Wadey, Blue Moon, Allen, Sturvel, Mand, Switch, Dylan, Lars, Van Dickface, uh, Jax, Armada, Kier, Mighty, oh god, hold on, I'm, I skipped through a few. Mighty, Pinkman, Tall, Dark, and Gruesome, Manchester, Sauce, and Leo, all with the resubs. Thank you guys so very, very much. And what we'll do here as well, uh, Josh Jones, thank you for the two. Appreciate you. Uh, being that it's 6 p.m., we can also check and see if EA have added anything because. Hey, Bat. Oh, we got the UEFA marquee matchups. Okay. 100 bleed purple. 100 bleed purple. 100 bleed purple. 100 bleed purple. 100 bonus 50. I think one of the biggest issues is that the community's response to most issues in the game, with EA's decision, is to be overtly toxic. 
we need to be constructive in criticism, give them evidence, give them ideas about how they can do things better, don't just abuse people. The dumbest thing is where people abuse Zaro slash Corey, like doing that helps anyone. That's just people in the community being idiots. Is this another player of the- Earn the MLS player of the month, Roberto- Holy- uh, Roberto Carlos. Carlos Vela. Holy um, shit! So that's a new, newly dropped player of the month, Carlos Vela. Holy Jesus Lord, what the hell? Ninety rated card. I wonder what I wonder what his value is. Eighty three with an inform. Wow. Eighty three with an inform as well. Do I complete that? He's cheaper than the a cheap the cheapest ninety rated card. Is he not? I mean, for me, at the end of the day, he'll end up being SBC fodder. Maybe for the, uh, for the final squad for R9, could use him today as well in a few games just to test him out. And, well, specifically, oh my god, they have actually given us a new kit. Nep's gonna love this. Wait, team of the season? Yo! Oh my god, our player of the season! I don't know if I'm gonna do this, man. I just don't give a fuck about these kits. But we got a, was this drop today as well? Player of the season, Mena. Interesting. Uh, more importantly, what is the squad to complete him? Was this dropped? I've been away for two or three days. So did they drop this today or is this yesterday? 83 rated with an inform as well. Now, I think no matter what, he won't be as cheap as an 87 rated card. So I don't know if I will complete him. But I got to do uh, Raheem the Dream. I want to get that loan. When does he expire in five days? Is it, what, an 83 rated squad? So, I mean, outside of talking about the community, 83 rated is kind of gross, but I think I'm going to do that one too on stream today just to get it done. Uh, do we get the Barzagli loan done? Could do that. The Vardy loan done and the Carlos Vela loan done. Just because I grind so much and end up selling 83 rated cards for nothing... I might as well get some of these loan cards done so we can have some fun over the next couple of months with themed um, squad builders around some of these loans and just get like 20 games of weekend league in with these cards. So the UCL upgrade is back. The marquee matchups is back. Hey, back. Carlos Vela is back. This why I like you. You always watch your feeling and you use air code anything. You always say what you're feeling and don't sugarcoat anything. Yeah, I mean, that's why that topic needed to be uh, discussed, I think. And, and, and I hope, because I'm talking about everything on the fly, I realize that I could end up going on a lot of tangents, which is why I tried to write down some pointers for today's episode that I wanted to cover before we got into things. Not to mention, because I've been away for three days, there's so much that have happened. So the Weekend League clusterfuck that is and was... I stopped at 8-1. and one. I, I, I stopped on Saturday. The recording that you guys saw, like I said, I didn't touch FIFA until right now, turning on the game for today's stream and for today's YouTube video. So we finished 8-1, and one, but I've seen a lot of you guys getting screwed over with how long the game was down. And then the fact that EA, the only thing they did, this is another topic, and I don't want to get into this EA's mismanagement of their community because I think the FIFA community and that discussion is, is, is much bigger than even the point I want to make here. But I find it slightly outrageous that the game was dead for almost two days. Almost two days, right? And once they bring things back, the only thing that they did was give us another 2,000 points to qualify for the next weekend. Now, I know a lot of you guys will roll your eyes saying, oh my God, here's someone in the FIFA community getting mad because they want everything for free. Hear me out. For those of you guys that grind squad battles, some of you that have normal lives might only have those few days a week where the game was down to play the game. And not everybody plays Weekend League. So those of you guys that, God help you, still are playing squad battles, got nothing in terms of compensation or value for time back at all. Those of you guys that play Division Rivals, got absolutely nothing for compensation or value. Like the fact that weekly objectives are a weekly thing, but we lost out on two days out of the seven to complete them. You got nothing back. 
So not only have they, just for people that compete in the weekend league, the only thing they've given is the points back. They didn't even reciprocate to anybody in the, anybody else in the community that might spend time on this game. And they really should because people that spend time or let's even get into the specifics that spend money on FIFA points. If someone has invested a certain amount of money in FIFA points and then the only time they're able to go into the servers and play the game, the game is down. There should be some sort of reciprocation for their loss of time or their loss of value within the game, especially when they spend time or money on the game, whatever you want to discuss in that regard. And let me build into that, right? What's even more of an issue is how hilarious the rest of the EA Sports franchises are. Go look at Madden. So for those of you guys that are saying, oh, EA shouldn't give you anything back anyways. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's not that deep, right? The guys that are fucking got the EA Kool-Aid injected into their system. EA's favorite consumers that say, oh, fuck you guys for always complaining. Who cares? It doesn't matter. The irony is Madden Ultimate Team, they, they, they gave back so much to their community that missed out on the same thing when EA did nothing. NHL. Hut or whatever, Hockey Ultimate Team, that community gave back. Those teams gave back. The FIFA team is the only team that didn't give back to their communities. So that's what's even more hilarious, is what I'm arguing and debating is something that was reciprocated in other franchises within the EA Sports setup. How hilarious is that? So the Madden guys are like, yeah, no, you know, okay, let as an example you weren't able to play uh in weekend league well guess what for this upcoming weekend league we're doubling the rewards so instead of finishing in gold one next weekend and you getting two 100k packs you're gonna get four 100k packs and you're gonna get instead of 50k you're gonna get 100k if you finish gold three instead of getting a 50k pack and getting two megas you get two 50k packs and four megas on and on and on and on and yet for some reason the one community the fifa community that keeps everything else afloat for ea and ea sports gets nothing and why is that why is that because we are all too busy attacking streamers we're too busy attacking youtubers we're too busy attacking people that spend money on the game we're too busy attacking people that still play the game instead of going to ea EA, not attacking community managers, which are just like me and you that want to see the best out of the game, instead of going directly to EA and their Twitter feeds and their helps uh, desks and all of that stuff and demanding these things be fixed, we're too busy attacking each other. Fantastic. Great. Amazing. Riley, thank you for the three. Bo, thank you for the 16. Shogzy, thank you for the six. I appreciate you, dude. That's where we falter as 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 a overall family, if you will. We're too busy with the stupid shit um, to sit there and get proper changes. And again, I, I mean, I, I would agree with the argument that, okay, not being awarded for this downtime and shit is peanuts in comparison to the fact that uh, pretzel shots are still broken button delay is still an issue seven months into the game definitely uh, I, I i would agree i would agree with you guys there right i've even said that before where we kind of need to pick and choose our arguments us going in at ea about not getting rewarded for certain things that we expect i think is still a valid criticism of ea but maybe we do have bigger fish fish to fry as as I believe the saying goes in terms of bad gameplay and the servers being an issue and 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 all of that stuff the ucl marquee matchup uh is so is so dead i haven't even checked it we'll check it at some point in this epi for sure i was so busy talking that we didn't really didn't really get anything else achieved my plan was to have that discussion about the fifa community while going through and doing the the packs and the league sbcs but how the heck am I going to do that? Unless I do it like NEP where it's all pre-recorded footage and you guys have that footage on in the background as I sit and talk, right? But I, I just, I don't have the logistics to do that, unfortunately. So you guys get this. Like we still get plus one cards. SEJ, thank you for the two months. Faceman, thank you so much as well, dude. Appreciate the 14 months. By the way, 
I've showed this on stream uh, in great detail. You are still able to do the double up UCL thing. For those of you guys that are interested, there's a bunch of videos on how to do it via the web app or whatever, if you guys wanted to check. What I will say is it's gotten to the point now where it's not that much of a savings. It really isn't. Um, it really isn't much of a savings because the UCL cards themselves have a certain value and specifically like with Juventus. So we did it with, we did it with Juventus as well, but I didn't really save that much. The only savings I got is I had one less 84 rated player that I needed to buy. That was it. I still need two 84s in here. So yes, we got the double up thing to, to work properly. Uh, so Chan and whatever this guy's name is off the top of my head. I can't even remember the Chiglio. The Chiglio. But the savings aren't really there. Uh, but anyways, if you wanted to see that, it's in my Twitch past broadcast. Sorry, YouTube. I'm not going to dedicate a singular video for it because it's so easy to do. Uh, but it's in the past broadcast or you just Google web app, UCL dupe, and it pops up. <clears throat> and, well, exactly, right? Or you need to buy a Cancela who's also 5K. Like for the Juventus one specifically, the UCL dupe setup is not even a savings it, it just isn't uh donkey puncha thank you for the 22 shinto thank you for the 46 ah so interesting uh turn of events from the ucl mar uh Matt marquee matchups is ea require you to use how many liverpool and barca players so again in creating the ucl marquee matchup ea have achieved what they wanted to achieve which is to hurt not hurt but slow down the people that do the league SBC grinds because Liverpool players, you need four Liverpool players and Barca players. I almost guarantee you are 4k plus right now. So uh, we called it weeks ago saying the more people catch on to doing this league SBC grind, the more that EA will use other SBCs to skyrocket the price of specific teams or players in the league SBCs to just make it more expensive for people to do. So that the chance that they make big profits is even more or even further whittled down. And I will say this. I took a lot of time piecing together the Parma squad. Again, I doubled up on Gervinho here. I did the loyalty. Uh, I think we did it for this guy. So I I, I am Hell now back. to stay in profit and making good money and having to grind even more. Sat backwards is das and das is not good. Kappa, love you, Popper. That's disgusting, Ollie. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, so, again, a lot of people look at what we do with the League SBC grind and say, dude, with how much money you're making and the club you're putting together and how you're basically, not even basically, how I'm completing Prime R9 just by grinding League SBCs, people sit there and are like, oh my god, they're, it's going to be gone next year. I really do not think that that's going to be the case. The reason being is the People just see me completing this. Every episode on the Road to Glory, even daily on stream, you guys see me piecing together and putting one more squad and completing one more squad for R9. And people just see the end product of that and think, oh my God, he's doing R9. They're going to get rid of this. Dudes, I am putting in so much grind to get this R9, to be able to complete a team a day by League SBCs that honestly... If you are willing to put in this much time, you're part of like a 0.1% of people in the community to get R9. So I really don't think EA are going to do much different in terms of league SBCs. It's just, it requires so much time that it's along the same lines of dumping infinite money into this game or dumping infinite time. The common man, which is why I'm so excited for the two hour a day poor man road to glory that we're doing next year. Me, on the two hour a day, poor man, Road to Glory, I won't be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to put 12 hours a day into that Road to Glory because no common man will be able to do that. So EA see that as well. And I'm sure they see the logistics and the numbers of how many people in the community do these League SBCs a day. It's probably like 0.1% of people within the community that grind these League SBCs daily because it's such a heavy grind that I don't think we're going to see any change. I don't think EA take it away at all. It's such a time sink. I enjoy doing it, but it really, really is shit. a very inefficient time sink. You can you can make coins so much quicker by trading. 
or investing or sticking specifically to the bronze pack method or, or whatever it is. Lucas, thank you for the 22. What about Bob? Thank you for the 51. King, thank you for the 11. Ollie, thank you for the seven. Hatman, thank you for the seven. I appreciate you, my bro. God bless. And Ollie, again, thank you for the 500. Exotica, thank you for the 20. Appreciate you very, very much. The thought of FIFA 20 makes me wet. Dude, I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. I Because I am putting my money where my mouth is, where I even critique myself in my road to glory, saying it's not a road to glory that anybody can relate to, right? Because of the amount of time I put into the road to glory. So now we can really see as a common man, what with my knowledge of FUT, what I can do. And then I'm hoping you guys can really, really reciprocate, not reciprocate, that's a terrible word that I've used already too many times today. But then you guys can see what I do in my two hour a day RTG, my common man road to glory and see, okay, he's doing this on the exact same amount of time that I can use a day on my, or put on, on my road to glory, if not less. Cause I think arguably two hours a day, a lot of you guys, especially over the weekends, probably spend, even as a common man, probably spend more time than that on your, on your accounts, right? So I'm really, really excited for FIFA 20 for that account because that is the quintessential every man's road to glory. And then on the other side, the rich man account is the quintessential ball in account, streamer account, YouTuber account that we'll be able to use and have fun with all year long as well. I'm really excited to be able to have both of those things for FIFA 20. I'm, you guys have no idea how stoked I am on that. One account where it's like the every last coin Every last minute spent is so important and so crucial to the success of the series and the account getting the best possible team. And then the other account where it's the opposite. We can grind and do as crazy as we want and, and live lackadaisical or not, right? And, oh man, I'm, 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 I'm just, the more I think about it, the more excited I get. Uh, Lucas, thank you for the 22 though, man. And Bob, again, thank you for the 51. I appreciate you, my bro. I play 10 to 12 hours a week and you learn to adapt to make coins easy. Exactly. And I'm excited to discover that with you, D-Lev. Ooh, I think this guy has a good value already. I'm very, very excited to discover that. Thank you, Nick, for producing the best FIFA 19 series out there, creating a stream where we can all feel part of a community. Many thanks. Keep up the good work. Thank you, King. Appreciate you. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What a pack. Holy shit. Unbelievably, we are... 50% of the way or 99% of the way to completing Utrecht. I need both center backs and we finally got one of them. And if he's down to 17K, that means we can finish the Eredivisie for 17K. That's big. Also, this guy might only be, yeah, a thousand coins. Never mind. If it was a center back, it'd be big cash money. But that works for me. Now we get to start making our money back, which is great. So we can sell Diego Oliveira. Uh, all right. We're doing good, man. Hell of a first pack to start things off. Matt, thank you for the three. I'm about to pass out. My office is so hot. All that is straight discards. And you sold your Air Divisi players? So? I still need to pack the other one. And again, it doesn't matter. Because if I sell the Air Divisi players, I can start collecting them then, then again from here. There's genuinely no losses at all. And in fact, I store another Air Divisi player that I need to go off and sell. There's absolutely no rush to finish the Air Divisi. I don't need anything from the Air Divisi. Other than completing the teams for free and getting those packs open for a bit of fun, there's no real uh, want or need. Is there anything from... So instead of me discarding these off-league players... Should we be going to try and do the UCL Marquee matchups? What are we saying? Would that be a better use of my these duplicate players? The UCL Marquee matchups are a 99% loss. Okay, so you guys think I shouldn't even worry about it. Should I just not do it? Not worth it even if I use off-league players? Okay. Yeah, because I'll have to get rid of the Liverpool and Barca players that I want to use for league uh, upgrades, right? It's not worth it. Okay. Roger that. I'll have a quick look for those of you guys that are interested or haven't looked yourselves specifically on stream or, in, or watching this video. I'll go have a look at the UCL requirements and we'll we'll get a, a final decision on whether or not we think it's worth it. But based off of my viewer base, that's good for loyalty. Based off of my viewer base, it's not worth it. Uh, I can get rid of 
all that. I believe Pace is going to sell for a little something, something. Balmarnio, thank you for the 15. I know you're not really trading, investing nowadays, but Shadow Hunter cars are through the floor. Ooh, okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. How much through the floor are we talking about? Uh, it is worth the low rating. Meant I could use three bronze Liverpool players that are low mm, for the league SPC. Okay, interesting. Be. Hi, in new on the channel. Been following for about a week now. Silly question. Do you only do team building? Or do you also play matches? Hugs from Denmark. <laughs> Vigard, thank you, man. Appreciate the five. I try to play anywhere from two to five or ten games a day. The problem is, is I love this game, but I hate the gameplay. And being that you're a new viewer, uh, you, you might have not heard my endless discussions about what's wrong with the gameplay. So I, I basically try to play this game now for fun. And playing this game for fun and with a fun mentality means with the broken issues in gameplay and in the servers, I can only play this game for fun or for enjoyment for anywhere to two to five games a day because any more than that i my nerves get fried and all of the terrible issues with the game just bubble to the surface and i lose my mind and it just makes me angry so i love this game uh the menus and the grind that i'm doing right now is something that i love and eight months or seven months into the game i'm still grinding fifa 19 ultimate team anywhere from eight to 12 hours a day it's just unfortunately that gameplay is at a very big downturn i don't even know if that's the right word i need him do i need him for loyalty anymore i don't even know i don't think i do i really don't think whoa oh of course that's cash are we am i talking like are we talking five six k profit here okay i'll do that roger Okay, he sells for a little. Put him up there. Liverpool bronzes as well are going for 4K. You know what's crazy, dude, is I think I just got rid of them all. Like, very, very recently. Bronze pack method, though. People that grind the bronze pack method are sitting looking at all of their uh, bronze Liverpool players saying, God damn, this method is great. Yeah, we'll go have a look at my Liverpool players after we're done these packs. Prime gold player, small gold player pack. Let's get these. I just sold Murillo for 8.9k. That's mad. Yeah, so the Prem and La Liga. Unfortunately, I wanted to do La Liga for tomorrow. I wanted to get the 90 Casemiro for the final uh, R9 squad. But what we might have to do today is... I need him for loyalty. So what we might have to do today is just use the two teams that aren't going to be bloated in price. Which is the two leagues. Which will end up being, again, the Serie A? I don't know if I can even do the Serie A again. The Bundesliga for sure. I mean, I could also just go, eh. We'll go see. I'll go see. If I have the, if I have enough Liverpool players to get the team done, or if I have enough Barca players to get the team done, then I'll just do it. If not, then we'll do the Bundesliga. I'll grind out the Bundesliga and uh, the Serie A one more time. 50k from Ajax players? Oh, 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 okay. Tell me the players that have skyrocketed in price because I'm not gonna do the SBCs if they're not from main league. So Ajax players are Spurs players then stupidly expensive too? Which is unfortunate. So Spurs and Liverpool and Barca in terms of league SBC are gonna be shit. Oh, yo, wait. Wait, why are you lying to me, dudes? What should I put up for minimums, dudes? Like, what, what price should I put on these cards? 5K? 5K a piece? Three? 3K? That's it? Really? Are you serious? Dude, they're being bid. Hold on. 8.8888888. Dead banter, dude. 
Okay, so there you go. There's 6.9. Let's just go up to the 59th and get an idea of what we're dealing with here. This might take me a little while, so apologies. I need to make 120K so I can buy 89 Cancelo. There's 4.5 right there. And that's 30 minutes. Nah, you're right. You guys are right. Y'all are right. I'm going to do 3K a pop. You guys were 100% correct. Huh? Dude, I pack these guys a trillion times a day. Hey, back. So this is great. Ramadan Mubarak. Same to you. Same to you, Mr. Awesome. Anybody celebrating or fasting right now? Ramadan Mubarak. Absolutely. I sold Huntelar for 5k. Yeah, I mean, I might I might get rocked out on a few of these players. But I think it's good to just get them gone. Chat is always right. I mean, that's so wrong. It makes me sad, but okay. I do sell these guys, though. Bless up. Got the 85 Allen from the UEFA SBC. I don't, so is he worth the, what, 100K that of value players that you put into the SBC? That's the question you got to ask yourself, my dude. That is indeed the question you got to ask yourself. Look at all these. I got untradables, bros. Maybe we do do the, uh, the, the UCL. Do these untradables. Actually, it'd be interesting to see for league so i don't i wasn't i know i asked you guys a question i i didn't care enough to look at the chat to see what your answer was oh no so i won't be able to do liverpool um spurs was the question is spurs expensive oh no oh no okay and then barca we just did la liga too man so i don't i okay no bueno i'll need to buy a few of the barcelona players but i could make this work i can make this work dudes i can make this work so i think we're gonna do la liga then today la liga will be the team we piece together for the final r9 r9 squad good stuff need spurs players for objectives so don't get rid of them i need dude i don't even know what even are the objectives i don't remember man I haven't done anything. I've done nothing. Oh, God. Okay, so I need to do that one on my own. Or maybe on stream. We'll see. Win two online matches. Ajax Spurs. Ah, okay. I got to do that one. Win two squad battle matches. I got to do that one. We'll probably do this one today on stream. God, hell. I mean, I should be able to get some sort of results. Dutch players. So we'll get... Win, score twice in eight separate online matches. That's pretty cool. Is it from wins? You'd assume so, huh? You can do the Ajax one even in a friendly match? Yeah, I'll probably do online singles for that one. I think that would be the best place to do it. Hey, we got an inform. Is that a walkout? No, I don't think so, right? No, absolutely not. Consultant FC is not a walkout. But 10k. All right. Discard? Oh, he's not discard. He's a little bit above discard. Feels juicy. I don't know how much he is specifically, but we'll do that. You can let a viewer leave two games. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's true. This guy doesn't sell, man. It's not worth my time. It's not worth the listing. Neither is that. Do I like KFC chicken? Dude, fry who doesn't like fried chicken? Who doesn't, man? I like it spicy, though. I like it spicy. And... Oh, walk out from a prime! An info! Oh, what the hell is this? I don't know what this is. Who, Cam? Oh, Van, Van, Van Beek or whatever. 
Oh, that is the deadest walkout ever. No offense, Van de Beek. How cute is that Coca-Cola kit, by the way, dudes? Oh my god, bro. I I thought we were hitting something something mad. I thought we were hitting something mad. Put him in my Ajax Spurs squad. Good point. Before we sell him, we can put him in the Ajax Spurs squad. That's cool. That's really cool. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Well, God, are there? What are the big dog UCL cards right now that are available? That's the real question. Looks like he's an okay card too. Duffer, thank you for the twenty-eight league SBC OP, baby. We'll see. Oh, Alba, bro! Imagine, imagine we hit an Alba. Oh, oh, what the hell? <laughs> an eighty-four and an in-four Munir. What the hell? What a pack, man! Ear trying to make prime packs better. So we're talking 30k here. Okay, need him for loyalty, so I guess that's good. That's like a 40k, 45k, 50k pack. I'll take it. Heck yeah, I did. Uh, I'll do that. Waniyama's Boku coins too, right? Okay, so we'll do... Let's save that. I don't know if they're as cheap as Ajax players, but we'll we'll do that. Watch him go on bid for a thousand coins. You can almost guarantee it, buddies. You can already tell your pack luck is in today. Oh god. Roscoe back with his freaking rigged theories. His tinfoil hat wearing theories. What are we talking? Can I get 15k out of him? Let's go, let's go 16. If he's underpriced by a little bit, I'm okay with that. Four star weak foot. I mean, wouldn't, I guess I can use this guy. I, I think I'd rather try and get a squad put together with Frankie de Jong. Instead. All right, primes. Good stuff, man. Inform and then a walkout inform pack right after. Okay. Oh, God. And then there you go. The 45k pack's going right back to their shitness. Uh, Duffer, thank you for the 28 again, dude. Appreciate you. I do like restocking the club. Do, 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 do. Uh, the first bronze packs and upgrades repeat is killing, but a worthy process. Oh, it's so good, dude. I Today, we're going to be grinding bronze packs as well and league upgrades like i've been very very lackadaisical with bronze packs and silver upgrades i've built my entire club around bronze packs and then doing the silver upgrades and using those silver upgrade players to do league sbcs and i've been very very lazy once prime r9 is done we're getting back to the root of of this club which is grinding out that system and then during the recordings we grind the league sbcs so off of recordings bronze packs silver upgrades smaller league sbcs for the recordings the league sbc grind using the silvers that we got from the packs that's going to be the system i want to do i've been way too lazy okay that's another board from a mini 50k pack the the funny thing is and hopefully i can turn my luck around here these mini 50k packs for the longest time for me were so damn good so damn good oh nice Let's get it. They were so great. And now <laughs> they're they're some of the worst packs. I don't I don't get like any walkouts or even many boards anymore or nothing. And prime packs for the longest time were dog shit with rare packs being dog shit. And then recently, prime packs and rare packs, the 25k rare packs or whatever you call them, have been giving me the best pulls. So who knows? If these continue to be shit, it's weird, man. At least this is a board. Oh, it's going to be... Is this... Uh, okay. Loyalty is key. You say you've been lazy when you put 15 hours into the game? Well, I'm... Oh, never mind. 
What a lovely surprise. I know you guys are crying and yelling that this guy's worth something and whatever. I need him for league upgrades, man. I'm not going to sell him. I'm selling duplicates. Or Air Divisi because I'm not doing the, the Air Divisi right now. Glico mode basically means... I dudes. The idea with Glico mode is I can't sell him, right? What gets us the pack luck is discarding Glico mode. I know he's like 2.5 or 3k, but we got to let him go, dudes. We got to sacrifice him to the pack gods, which means we get something good from packs. I can't I can't get the uh, the coin sale value for him, man. Look at that. Sick, almost 666 for coins, too. All right. Come on, Glico mode. Give us a walkout right here. Ah! No way. Oh, my God. I didn't think it would work immediately. Oh, Jesus. Hey, oh, it works. It works. Glico mode works. It's the new Mikey Williamson, boys. Holy God. What even is that goalkeeper kit even? The Coca-Cola kits are so cool, man. You love to see it, you know? Okay. All right. Put them in the SBC. Project R9, boys. Project R9. Uh, King Thomas, thank you for the 12, man. Appreciate Holy you. Holy shit! Uh, Craig, thank you for the 27. Uh, sorry I don't watch much these days. Can't get into FIFA. With the gameplay as bad as it is, always make sure I keep sub. Thanks. Keep the sub. Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, I mean, obviously it pains me that you don't in, you don't watch me anymore just because you don't like gameplay. But I understand. That's like 90% of my audience, too. So I get it. I just wish I was a better content creator where people would want to join and watch my stream. Even when they didn't like the game or play the game. All right, so, as if to completely discredit anything I say, we're now getting great things from the mini 50k packs. Just after I said they've been shit for me. Yeah, thanks, RNBA. The, 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 the Coke kit is super cute, dude. I love it. I love it. Oh, look, a Coke bottle. Stalda, thank you as well for the 59 months, man. One month away until you get yourself that VIP badge, the Icon five-year sub badge. <coughs> All right. Oh, Goretz. Oh, I mean, that works too. I was hoping it'd be Goretzka for the Bayern squad, but hey, getting another player for the Man City team is perfect too. Don't mind if I do. Just, just cashed out Barca players for 6K. Now that is a dupe. Which I could sell. Do I sell? Yeah, I'll sell. I already got him. So I already have another run through of the Premier League. I don't need two. Having an icon opens up so many opportunities. Absolutely. That's one of the best things with icons, right? Is that they link to everybody. So even if you're running an RTG of some sort... Having one icon in your team really allows you to have diversity in your dream team. Whether you want to get yourself a Maldini or get yourself an R9 or get yourself a Dino or something. Not only are they the best players in the game, but they allow you to use maybe a Frankie de Jong Future Stars card or a Tellez at left back that you wouldn't normally get chemistry. If you didn't have a Dino or a Maldini or, you know, use your untradeable De Gea. Gets a nice 8 chem link thanks to... Maldini, whatever it is. I, I love, I love the icons and the links that they have. For sure. Where are we at here? Do I got a mega pack in here hidden as well? Ooh, let's get the mega pack. One icon in defense, midfield and attack is great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh God. Oh, mercy. What a terrible mega pack. Have these plummeted in price again, my dudes? No, oh, oddly enough, these are more expensive now. Wow. Okay. I got Perez's Prime Moments card and I'm enjoying them. That's good. Uh, probably going to be talking like barely above discard for these dudes. Mega packs are the worst packs in the game for me. Uh, start of the year, I hit a couple of really good things from mega packs. So, I just, 
I guess end of the day, as we always say, if your pack luck is in, your pack luck is in. Doesn't matter if you're opening what we consider one of the shittiest packs, which is a prime pack or a rare pack or a mixed players pack that only has one rare. If you're gonna get something, you're gonna get something, man. The pack gods bless your account when they choose to bless your account. Doesn't matter what type of pack you open. For proof is in the fact that in the last week or two weeks, every episode we've opened at least one, if not two, 125k packs. Those are $30 packs. Every pack. And have we packed anything of note from an ultimate pack yet? No, right? Uh, yeah, it is, Frog. It is. Same thing for for Juve, Frog. If you're doing it the Chan way or the De Chiglio way, it's time. It is time, my dude. It is time. It's like our Tuesday buy day, isn't it? It's hilarious. Holy God, what the heck? I actually have it written down of the players that I need. Um, And for me, in terms of... <clears throat> Real... Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me show you dudes. All right, so that's all sold from the profits today. Oh, geez. Okay, I might have underpriced that guy. Oh, ho, 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 ho! let's get it. All of those sales. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, that's all I need for dupes, dupes, dupes. Dupes. So there's the Kiko dupes. I need these guys, man. Chat. I, I know you. I know I should be selling them, but I need them. Okay. So, uh, Rafinha. Uh, Sanchez. Ulrich. Um, what Barca players did I needed from the UCL bros? Does anybody remember off the top of their, off the top of their head, what I needed for Barca players? I guess I'm not really going to be buying them right now, but okay, I needed him for loyalty, which is again, silly. I don't necessarily, um, I've got a few Kikos. Should I buy a couple more? I can't remember. Do I not? I Shit. I can't remember how I did Barca. I guess it doesn't matter because Barca are expensive. Friday would be a good time to stock up on the expensive silvers. Yep. Community team of the season. People will be dumping a lot uh, into packs and maybe even silver packs. Ah, Lasana Diara. Thank you. I don't really do league, uh, but yeah, thank you. That's another one that I need to pick up. All right, you guys, at least for YouTube, before I continue opening these packs, are going to see um, kind of a little bit of a Tuesday shopping spree that I tend to do. So, oh my God. Oh my days, that's so good. That's so, so good. Okay. That is fantastic. Uh, both of them need to go on the trade pile, believe it or not. Even though I have the room. I already bought that one, didn't I? Yeah. Two of each or should I buy three of each? While these prices are like this, I should... I wish I had unlimited uh, slots, man. Wait, what? What in the hell? Oh, I think the stream is caught up to my purchases. I can't do this stuff on stream, man. Look at this. I can't... I just... I can't... I can't do this stuff on stream, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I can genuinely never do this on stream, but it is uh, it is what it is. Whatever. Uh, 
fantastic. Chat, I will fuck you guys up. I will fuck you guys up. <laughs> Stop it! Stop copying everything I do, you botches. <laughs> Leave my shit alone, man. Um. Okay, that's all good. Oh God, I didn't. Oh, it'll be nice and cheap. Stop it! You guys are too fast, man. Oh, okay, we're fine. Um, how are my coins not even going down while I'm buying this stuff? This is crazy. Chat, don't be bullies. Uh, okay. I need this man. No. No. God bless it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I love Tuesdays. I love Tuesdays, man. EA make Tuesdays so good for the road to glory. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Holy man. shit! I see! Thank you for the 56, man! Appreciate you! That Liverpool lineup is tough? In a good way or in a bad way? Yeah, in like a good or bad way. What are we talking here? Bro, this is amazing. I should buy more. I really should. I just don't have enough room on the trade pile. I mean, we could do the trade pile glitch, but then every pack I open, I'd have to... Ugh, fuck that. CBA. You know, dudes? Like, CBA? Okay, this guy... <laughs> Oh shit, is he that much as well? Oh, hoo, hoo. Gam, gam, Ulrich. Chat, let me buy these three. Don't buy them. Yes. Beautiful. No! Hey! Stop it! Well, I think I have three of them anyways because I had one other version of him on the trade pile. So that's fine. Uh, this one is Boku Monies, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I don't need I don't need too many of him though. Wait. That just feels like a uh, a price fix, man really does i have another one that's fine i don't need more than that i already have one or two i've got two on the bench right so that's good and then okay lasana wait what holy god oh well back jordan icy jh simo declan thank you guys appreciate you insane uh welcome back stream thank you guys How much is Lasana, dudes? Uh, it's a very varied price. I don't do League uh, too much, so I, I do feel like this will be a waste, but that's okay. I do League uh, enough where... Using the profits from the marquee matchups, we then buy players. Hello? Are you... Chat. Chat, stop. I just want one... Oh, I'm not going to win him, obviously. I just want one more, dudes. Just one more. Please. I just need one more for PSG. Stop it. Stop it. 
I will fist you. I will fist you. No, they're mine. All right, whatever. I'll leave it at that. That's good. All right. Frog reminding us with the uh, UCL cards that he needed to pick up. So we're looking good there. Trade ball's getting a little bit psycho. So I think at this point in time, this is what I'm going to do. Because I'm not grinding the League SBCs as much. My thought is... If I need loyalty, we can just do the loyalty glitch with 10 or of the 11 players that I need. So Coleman is a good one to have, but like Stones and Rugani and even Rafinha, these guys, Boateng is a duplicate even, Murillo, I might as well cash out and that, that gives me a, a little bit extra room in the trade pile. Now I don't think even Stones is worth, oh my, wait what? Okay. I guess I was wrong about that. Rugani worth a thousand or so. A little bit more. There we go. Biffy, thank you, man. Oh, Barca, don't do what they did last year against Roma and blow a three goal lead. I mean, Liverpool fans are probably hoping they do that. I mean, someone as a, a neutral as myself really hopes they do that. Imagine it going into extra time with Liverpool having made it three nothing. Holy shit. You're going to see some greatness from Messi or you're going to see some greatness from a Liverpool, from like a, a Virgil van Dijk or something. As a neutral, I would love to see that. I don't really care who goes through, whether it's Barca or uh, or Liverpool. So to see extra dramatics and stuff that will go down in football history would make me excited. Definitely. Okay, Murillo. Someone said they sold their Murillo for 10k. I don't think that person was lying, honestly. In fact, I think he just insta-sold. Arias. Good. Now we got all... All the dupes that I need. So same thing here, right? I should just be selling. These guys are all discard, aren't they? I don't need these guys, man. If and when I need the loyalty. First of all, I already have them in my club. Second, I'll just do the, I'll do the loyalty glitch, man. Nick, who named you Nick? My mom and my dad. Well, technically, my grand, my judo, my Lebanese grandfather. So, sorry, my... I'm bad at explaining this. My dad's father um, was born on August 18th in the 40s or whatever. And his name is Nicholas in Ula in Arabic. And I, subsequently, being the firstborn son of my dad, who's the firstborn son of my grandfather, I was insanely... I'm basically the prince of my Lebanese family, you know, for lack of a better word. I was born as a firstborn, and you guys that have Middle Eastern parents will know how important a firstborn son is for some fucking reason still nowadays. It's still like the second coming of Jesus. But anyways, I was born as a firstborn son on August 18th as well, so. Hey, did you get my whisper message kiss? I did, Zemriet. Yeah, we're sorting it all out, my dude. Um, Yeah, so I was born on August 18th, and then subsequently, because my grandfather was born on August 18th. I was also named Nicholas, so I was named after him. We share the same birthday. <clears throat> Which, I mean, don't mind if I do say, is pretty damn cool. Thank you for the cool story Bob Ross is in the chat. God bless. I thought that was a fun story. I don't remember what I'm doing here. We still have 125K to pack, a pack to open. We still have the R9 squad to complete and pack to open. We got lots to do. Sounds like Game of Thrones lure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, so we're ending the episode, as always, with the R9 pack and the 125k pack to see if we can really hit something big. 10,000 years later, Nick's done his story. I hate you guys. Bunch of, bunch of bullies, man. Thanks, baby. Okay. Uh, not too much of value in there. The Empoli player is just one less player I have to buy for Serie A. Fun fact, I have the same with my mom. Same B-Day, 30 years in between. Yeah, that's super cool, man. Uh, even on Steph's side of the family, the boss man, 
um, shares a birthday as my nephew, who was very recently born. He's like two years old. He was born Pay on the back. same day that the boss man was born. So one hour until Liverpool shocks the world and takes out Barker. Okay. I'd love to see it, man. I'd be I'd be one of the one of the first that would love to see it. Believe me. Um, Piatek. Nick took longer to tell that story than George did to write the books for Game of Thrones. Cool. I didn't realize. I mean, I technically today's intro about the FIFA community was 30 minutes long. So you guys aren't completely incorrect about my incredible ability to not get to the point. I seem to really enjoy talking in circles for 20 minutes at a time. Phil, thank you. Appreciate the 10 months. God bless you, bro. Pepe, 85 rated. Let's get it. Oh, he's a duplicate too. I'm going to keep him because he's going right back into the club once we get rid of the Pepe that's in the R9 squad. Normally I would sell. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're supposed to sell the Eredivisie botches, bros. Uh, YouTube, I know I've stored a bunch of Eredivisie players on stream, not for the video. I'm going to go back into my club and sell off anything from the Eredivisie that has a value. Sorry that you botches won't be able to see that, but you're getting a two-hour episode today, so... Where I talk about nothing. What, EA tweeted again? Wait, what? Oh no, the, the NEP and hurt thing isn't going to happen? Oh well, I, I'll need to. I'll, I'll need to deal with that. What have you? What are you? Hold on. Um. What? What are you guys getting mad about? About EA? EA tweeted. Seven players, one winner. Vote for your player of the season. Player of the season? Player of the season? That's interesting. Didn't Van Dyke win player of the season already? Oh, hey, okay. I see why you guys are upset about that. You think it's it's a money-making scheme. So they're trying to get another SBC out there after Van Dyke expires. Is that why you guys are mad about it? Ah, okay, I see. I don't necessarily mind. I, I don't necessarily mind too much about that, honestly. I, I know that you guys maybe see that as 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 a little bit shit, but dude, if, if someone if like Eden Hazard wins it, man, I'd be tempted to get that. I really want to wait and see what we get from La Liga though. Because a potential, even though he doesn't deserve it, Neymar, or specifically an Mbappe player of the year, we will SBC craft. And then he'll go in the spot of Leo Messi. It's a community vote. Just don't vote VVD. Yeah, yeah, okay. Makes sense. I mean, you'd probably argue the... Bernardo Silva should be the winner out of that, no? Player of the season? I mean, whatever. It's a community vote. Be interesting to see where the community votes. It's going to be one of the attackers that wins it no matter what. Especially now that VVD has a, uh, a a card. Bernardo Silva will be an ass card as a cam? I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. I think he'd be pretty damn good. I think he'd be fantastic. Mm 
Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Two of the needed players for the Serie A as well. Yeah, that's too bad that the Nep and Kurt thing isn't going to happen. Conversation, because I thought that would build nicely into the FIFA community uh, discussion. However, um, I totally see where Nep is going and Nep's thought process behind not having that discussion live for many reasons, man. Uh, having an open discussion on such a heated topic between Nep or any other pro can go wrong on so many different levels, man. Having it happen live, you could have the other person just want to push across their diatribe and push stuff that cannot be monitored uh, incorrectly. And it's just the unfortunate truth of the matter, right? Whereas doing something structured, but having it in a podcast style or a video format style just allows both parties to dictate and push how they, how the conversation should go. Now, that's not to say that if Nep and Kurt or whoever do this discussion, and let's say they do it in a video form, Kurt can live record everything and publish how he wants it, and hopefully the whole thing, and Nep can do a, a live recorded thing and, and push it. But at least in that environment, I do agree as well that you don't have the live Twitch chat, you don't have the live mixer chat if it's for Nep bringing things in as they shouldn't either i i think having a live recording is good but in the setup of a recording just makes it a lot more balanced i would say right because if you do it live on stream you're gonna have a lot of concerns of someone wanting to take it in a wrong direction where it isn't yeah like a podcast exactly that is better to do than doing it just on a live stream where Things can just go so many different wrong directions. And people that don't see it that way just have just don't understand how things work, right? So yeah, I, I I hope the discussions do happen. I think it's gonna it's gonna involve uh it's gonna have to involve people putting their differences aside and stop being petty and 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 backhanded comments and being offensive and petty personally. If we want to have a discussion between uh nep or any other youtuber and any other pro it has to be about the game and not constant petty personal attacks and insults it's that's one thing that's just it gets us nowhere why i don't know why <laughs> why certain people can't see that genuinely but it uh it, it is what it is man it is what it is that's just kind of where the where the community's at unfortunately Uh, none of these silvers really help us out. I was hoping the rare Electrum would uh, would give us something uh, something good in return, but unfortunately, it's not to be the case. All right, final rare Electrum pack. Then we've got Project... You guys are going to be happy to hear the end of Project R9. Oh my God, how many times have I said Project R9, guys? 80% done. It said... We are arguing because of a game. No, it's not. Uh, Nick from Slovenia. This is our jobs. It's it's far beyond just the fact that it's a game. That's the same thing of getting mad at football pundits for arguing or having discussions about Liverpool or Chelsea. Oh, it's so sad they're arguing or having these discussions. It's just guys kicking a ball around. I mean, that that, that concept and thought process doesn't really get you far. Really. Because you can take that idea and that thought process anywhere. And again, it just loses merit in every in every topic. I mean, it is. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. You can use that logic to anything. You can, you can use that logic to people arguing politics. Oh my God, these guys just arguing about politics when really we're floating around on a fucking rock in a shooting gallery of asteroids and eventually one day we're gonna get hit and we're all gonna die. Okay? You can, you can always one up whatever the situation is, however far you wanna take it. So just fucking relax, you know, you know? little little bit of reaching there with my final point but i think it stands 
I think it really does stand. All right. Come, 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 R9. Come, come. No, Carlos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, dude. Oh, my God. There's so much shit I have to go through. So, are we doing the UCL? What do I need for the Ajax players? Three. And I've got three untradeable Ajax players. UEFA League rare player and an 80 rating. Fuck that, dude. What a goddamn ripoff. And then four for UCL rare player. <laughs> EA, you guys are disgusting. And then it's just a three UCL player pack. The fuck? The what? The best part is, fuck this one. I'm unfavoriting. It can suck a dick. I'm not doing that. The best part is how many people in the community are doing it, man. I've sold every single player for like three to seven K, dude. That's how dumb the community is, bro. We are idiots. We're sitting here fighting each other when EA are releasing UCL marquee matchups that people are happy to spend like 50K to do. 100K to do and they get like a thousand coin player back. Bro, the fuck is wrong with us, man? We're all a bunch of tits. EA love how stupid we are. Same thing with this, man. A fucking UCL kit. What's the actual cost of this? Team chemistry, 60. Number of players in the squad, six. And then a UCL common or rare player. <laughs> so still, it's, oh, fucking Christ. What a, just, just, fuck off. Fuck off. I'm not doing any of those. Carlos Vela is a good one, though. I do think Carlos Vela is worthwhile doing, but I'm not going to do him today. We'll do him, uh, we'll, we'll maybe do him tomorrow. If I can piece together a team that makes sense, we'll do him tomorrow. G Benson, thank you for the 42, brother. I uh, appreciate you. Uh, R9. R9. Come, come. Come, come, R9. Come, 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 come. I can't believe from League SBC grinding, we are two away. Oh, Mother Teresa. Okay. Unfortunately, I did not get a Terstaken. I did get a Hugo Lloris, but I don't want to try and piece together. Okay, how am I going to get the 86 rating with a Hugo Lloris in here? And So I'm just going to do this. We'll go get a Terstaken for the, you know crazy cheap price that Ter Stegen is selling for right now thanks to the market shitting the bed in preparation for team of the season can i get him in the 50s what are we saying <laughs> i can oh my god wow the market is even lower than it was three days ago when i stopped playing wow 53 oh give me the one for 53 though no 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 oh damn it yes 53 man Oh my goodness. R9 tomorrow, dudes. Oh, it's the swan song for Flashback Ebra. 24 hours remaining for Flashback Ebra to be in the dream team. That's so upsetting. Okay, so to end off the episode, we're going to open this 50k pack. And we're going to open the uh, 125k ultimate pack. So again, Bush Towers, thank you for the six. G Benson again, thank you. Thank you guys so much for the support on the series. I appreciate you guys so much, man. And... I'm sorry that the start of the episode started off very much on the community discussion and, and the thought processes there, but I do think it's important that we all try and band together for a better game instead of attacking each other. I'm not good at getting to the point because there's so much things rattling around in my pea brain that I tend to just take forever to get there. But that was really the, 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 the point of today's video in terms of the state of the union with the FIFA community, man. I just... This is such a good game. We got such a strong community. We got to stop going after each other and try and work together to get this game in the proper state that I think we all deserve for it to be in. Holy shit. Okay. Is it usable? I, ne I need a good usable player. It's... Okay, that's not bad. I need this guy for the weekly objective. So we got two players pack pulled today. A UCL Ajax player that we can use for the weekly objective. And a domestic... Which is what we need. Domestic man of the match. Um, that we can use for another one of the weekly objectives. So that 50k pack was decent. And he's sellable. Which is good. Does he have a good value? Ooh. Okay. Another Rafinha. Which is another 7k. Uh, let me drop him down to 6500 and see him sell quickly. If uh, You know, you never know. The community could be catching on to, to me roasting, roasting it by overspending on these idiotic UCL packs. Yeah, that's a really good card. Shouldn't be too, too hard to beat the, uh, it's squad battle, right? 
The domestic man of the match, I believe, is a squad battle requirement. Bauman, again, could be using for the loan cards that I want to get. But then again, that would involve brain power. And I don't want to use my brain right now. It's way overrated. What's his price? I, though, these were going for, what, like 60k when this was released? When the mana, or 50k, I guess, or 40k when the mana of the matches were released. So they've come back down to basically discard. Interesting. All right. So there's the first of the two final packs of the episode. Let's get all the way to the ultimate pack. We got three left. And this week, I don't think I'm going to be able to play enough Division Rivals games to get myself ranked two. Because we only played nine games of champs. I'm going to have to pay like 30 games of Rivals today and tomorrow to get ranked two. And I just, I can't be asked, dude. So this might be the one week where we don't get an extra two ultimate packs. But I'll get back to grinding divisions and stuff next week. Team of the season will be around. So it'll be absolutely worth to grind and uh, get all those packs open. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Ultimate pack to end off the episode. Can we get a walkout? These are the worst packs in the game, in my opinion, man. These right here. Uh, all right. 81 rated Diop, untradeable. So that's interesting. That's like our 10th or 12th ultimate pack that we've opened in, in a week. These are so bad. Look at that, man. Ew. What the hell? 81 is the best that we've gotten from an ultimate pack? Okay, so an 84 untradeable Laporte and an inform is the marquee things that we got from a $30 pack. God bless you all. Thank you. And we'll catch you on the flip side for a R9 completion video on the road to glory tomorrow. Peace, bros.